So, no hard feelings, right? No. Still don't trust you. But that was stupid of you to try and kill us. So, what's next? We go back home to Japan and find a giant mansion so no cops or government officials can arrest our asses. Yeah. Okay then. Great. I've always wanted to live somewhere big and fancy. That will definitely help. Since we were in the wreck, the only wreck I see is you. And I don't even like you that much. So shut up or feel the wrath of my perfume. Okay, fine. If I had known you'd be this angry, I wouldn't have tried to kill you and your friend. Just don't make me regret helping you. Just shut up! I'm 16 years old and go to Chupai University. I'm a bit of a klutz and get teased for being a crybaby. But the truth is, I'm the pretty guardian who fights for love and for justice. I am Sailor Moon. Our first day at Chupai University after graduating from high school has gone pretty smoothly so far. And the first year is just beginning. It doesn't look too bad either. Well, I suppose they have some nice facilities there, unlike most other universities. But that might just be because they are not as advanced as most. They haven't even put together the technology needed for those machines. You can say that again. I got invited to a cooking club after school today for the first time ever. How exciting! And I also stay in the manga illustration club, where I can read a lot of mangas too. It kind of reminds me of the club at the library, but more fun. That's right, manga before studying. I'm not so sure if you can read manga before studying. It probably involves more work and less freedom. But still, that's awesome! I love reading manga! Even though it takes hours to do, it is so much fun! Speaking of class, we should head off to history class before we're late. Good morning, everyone! Welcome to the history class. I'm your history teacher, Miss Rukia Kuchiki. And I see you've already handed over your permission slips for today, Smoofy. This is going to be a great learning experience for all of you. Today, we are going to watch a Maori movie, The Deadlands. Not to be confused with the undead or any horror movies. Their culture lives in New Zealand. So can anybody tell me what the Maori culture and what the Hakka means? Yes, Miss Mizuno? Maori, or Maoritana, is the custom cultural practices and beliefs of the indigenous Maori people of New Zealand. Maori culture forms a distinctive part of New Zealand culture and the incorporation of Maori motifs into popular culture. It is found throughout the world, and the haka is a type of ceremonial Māori dance or challenge. Haka are usually performed in a group and typically represent a display of a tribe's pride, strength, and unity. Actions include foot stamping, tongue sticking outs and tongue flickings, 
and rhythmic body slapping to accompany a loud chant. It sometimes may be terrifying to anyone, but the haka also performed in football or rugby matches in combination with the drama of the game. That's right. Ten points to the Sailor Guardians Club. If anyone has any questions, just ask away. We got movie snacks and drinks like sodas and popcorn. So anybody grab your stuff? Quickly! Okay, now let me get to my computer and go to the main projection. Okay... I think that will give us an idea of the New Zealand Maori experience, yes? It's scary. You won't want to miss this one. Let me get to Tupi. Is it free up on the computer and any devices? Free streaming services apps these days. So enjoy! Did you hear that? We know a Noro or a cucumber now in class? I bet they'll start dating soon! Let's hope it happens soon. It's not every day a girl goes through puberty at 16. How very rude! <laughs> Since when did you eat so fast, Usagi? Is something bothering you? Just hungry! I forgot to eat breakfast before going to school today! <laughs> that movie we watched earlier was so great! It makes me want to learn more about Maori culture more often. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm surprised that there's one girl who can be a great warrior. Who said women like me can't fight like defending our country, right? What do you mean? Why should women become warriors? Don't be silly, Mako. I know that in 2003, women joined the U.S. military to fight in the military wars, and some people think women shouldn't fight. Well, that discrimination against us girls are finally over now. Women have equal rights, in case you hadn't noticed yet, we are a very modern nation. Wow! I imagine that I perform haka with four boys, but I wouldn't slap my hips or stick in my town out like that! You don't have to perform haka like these men, Mako. Just do what any Maori women do when they perform haka. <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, I'm much more of a shrine priestess than a sailor guardian thing. Same here, but being an idol is my dream job, and I have never been happier. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. This is Karin, and I'm in Japan University. Over. Roger. Over. How far out are you? Not that much. This school was filled with teenage girls like my age. Except from some of the older ones who weren't so old that they could teach anymore. They're nothing but flat chests and thin waist. Ooh, snap. Be careful what you said about that. Why do you sound scared, Suikasu? I'm not scared, Karin. You have a thin waist and a flat chest, too. <laughs> I'll kill you for that, shark boy. Over. Oh, yeah? I gotta go, Karin. I'll check on you later. Over and out. Damn that lacy fish face. I've got 
had an idea. You wanted to kidnap these teenage girls to start making phone calls from my plan? Well, yeah. You always wanted to make fur calls for people in Japan. So, here we are. Yeah. Uh, I just want you to know that I am totally okay with kidnapping them. You could do anything, Suikesu. Don't be such a jerk. That sounds like a good idea. But you can't kidnap them at daytime. It will spoil our plans. We'll just have to wait for night time. Until then, we need an apprentice to work for me and help us set everything up. I'll help you, ma'am. Cool. You know this young man? Yep. Carding used to date him before Sakura got cheated on. <laughs> really? So he's still single? No. So he has a wife and children? Yep. Okay. Now's not the time to be daydreaming, Karin, darling. We must focus on our mission. Yeah. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Sasuke's cute even when he's getting beaten. <laughs> you didn't have to hit him so hard. Hey, no problem. Got the heart of Dumbbell already? Once Sasuke's possessed, he'll work for us and the law about no fur coats in London won't interfere again. Just don't transfer your soul to my Sasuke. That will mess everything up. No worries. We've already agreed about not transferring souls into other persons. I want to make him sound like Glyn Close because she did a splendid job playing the role as me. The fact that she had hair extensions made it perfect. Now, let's get on with the job. Ate to we, Dambala! Give me the power, I beg of you! Never miss the end of your sire! Sakus at the arm of Black the Moon! What is let the Deku of the Mokoshe? Andele Bote Poise, Dambala! Possess his soul without transferring my soul to him. Use your powers to control his body.
We will have our apprentice. Wait, you mean like... Sasuke? Mm, yeah, sure. Just a... Sure. Sasuke? Sweetie? Are you okay? <laughs> Anita, darling. Hey, Sarda, do you know where your dad is? Not really. He told me he'll be back to finish birthday shopping. It's just around the corner. Hurry right, then. I'll get my dad to find him then. Bye, Sarda! <sighs> my father seems quite busy today. Maybe I shouldn't bother him too much. I wonder what he bought. I hope it doesn't take too long. Anita? Oh, Anita? I don't know, Anita. It's been so long since we've last met each other, hasn't it? Oh man, this is getting really freaky right now. I think Anita is your new nickname, Karin. It's quite a fitting name for you, which reminds me of my friend back in London. Your work is fresh and clean, unfettered, unpretentious. It sells. And one of these days, my competitors are going to suss out who you are, and they're going to try to steal you away. War good women have lost a marriage into war, famine, disease, and disaster. You have talent, darling. Don't squander it. Talent? You mean this? The drawing. What about it? I look wonderful. However, I would like to make one small change. Change? How exactly? Maybe you should... Take the drawing from Anita and hand it to me! Is that difficult? <laughs> <laughs> wow, he is so funny. Thank you. Now go stand somewhere till I need you. Um, alrighty then. It would be stunning in fur. He sounds like me. It's my only true love, darling. I live for fur. I worship fur. Oh, boy. That just sounds scary and creepy. After all, is there a woman in all this wretched world who doesn't? Give it to Anita. Thank you. This is amazing, actually. But why are you drawing this? Because I'm a model, just like my mother. Forget letting him be in The Apprentice. I think Sasuke's the perfect son. Son? Yes. If you were born into our family, you would inherit your parents' fortune. Now that he's my apprentice and my adopted son, he can help me fulfill my dream of becoming a fashionista diva once again. He got my attitude and tone of voice down perfectly. Mother, 
I'll finish the job what your pathetic henchmen like Jasper and Horace couldn't. You'd be happy, wouldn't you? Of course. Then allow this to be the start of the end. Now, time for me to start some crimes. Well, he grew up so fast, and he's gotten so strong. <laughs>